Alright guys, we're back with Sly 2, Band of Thieves, and we're gonna start episode 3. The Predator Hoheksha. Oh, oh, <clears throat> It took some detective work, but the gang and I managed to track down where Rajan had gone into hiding. Somehow, he'd managed to transform a long-forgotten temple into the thriving center of his spice operation. And it's there where we'll find him. The jungle, too thick to drive through, forced us to walk the long distance to our target. We ran into a few problems along the way, but pushed on. For the temple was more than just Rajan's hideout. It was also home to the Clockwork Heart. A pump so strong and tireless, it could increase spice production tenfold. Good for Rajan, but awful for the rest of the world. Hope he's not counting on that heart too much, because tonight, it comes home with me. Slack Cooper and the gang in... The Predator Awakes. I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Who else but Quagmire? Alright, so first things first, I like to collect the bottles. Because you'll never know when you'll run into the safe in this game. So let's go take care of that first. I'm not gonna lie. This is one of my least likable levels. Just for many reasons. Like the darkness. Like it just promotes like isolationism. And I just. Like I like these open worlds because of the freedom. This world feels kind of isolated to me. Like you have less freedom to go and do where you want. Do whatever you want, I just do not like it. Another reason is the missions are annoying. Most of them are. And I just don't like them either. And I hate you for promoting it. And especially one of these missions I hate the most. Okay, where are these bottles? Alright. I'm gonna have to make a jump. I'm so glad you, you can't get hurt by falling down in this game. Oop, I'm not getting that. I'm not doing that mission yet. I'm getting bottles. Snipe! Alright, no bottles here. But, I'll have to admit the... What is it? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Metal Gear! Metal Gear! <laughs> but I'll do admit, the final boss of this level, I like it. I like it a lot. Just because it involves a certain somebody that I love. Alright, where the heck are the bottles? I will be doing cutting if I can't find bottles, so. So, let's see. Oh, I woke up this morning to Toy Story 3. I'm not gonna lie. It, uh, it's part of, like, my childhood. Like, I love Toy Story to death. It's probably, my opinion, it's the greatest trilogy ever made. I love Spider-Man. I love Batman. Iron Man's great, but Toy Story is the greatest trilogy, in my opinion. It's a little biased because it's my childhood, but... I mean, come on. it. That's probably some of the greatest storytelling I've ever seen. And Toy Story isn't afraid to push buttons. Like three, like the end of three. I, I was crying. I was crying. And you can't tell me you did not cry at the end of Toy Story 3. 
you would have to be you would have to be a special somebody to not cry at that. That looks like a Cheerio, or one of the honeycombs from Banjo Kazooie. I mean, Tooie. But yeah, Toy Story is just amazing. And if you haven't seen it yet, what the heck is your problem? Go rent it right now. You will not regret it. I, I swear to you, you will not regret it at all. Oh, I thought you could climb that. Oh, thank goodness. Woo, boy. Yeah, this level. This level. Gosh. Um, okay. Well, at least there's a bottle. And speaking of Toy Story, what is your guys' favorite Toy Story movie? Just post in the comments just for fun because I'm that kind of guy who likes to have fun with you guys. Oh, get up there. I don't know. I think it's a tie between the first movie and... Damn it, it's a tie for all of them. But you know what? I think one's my favorite. One, because I grew up with it. And two, I just like the storyline better in that movie. I don't know, just like the introduction to Buzz and everything, like... That's a... I liked it a lot. And definitely when they were escaping Sid's house. That was great. Now, guys, we have to break a few rules. But if it works, it'll benefit everybody. And you know what that rule is. The toys come alive. Yeah, they're not afraid to come alive. I mean, that's guts. Like, having to break the rule of being alive. Now, I wouldn't mind if that happened right now. I'm looking at you, Power Rangers, over there. Come on, come alive just for me. Oh, oh, I saw you. Ooh, treasure. Okay, so back to what I was saying before I got the treasure. Actually, what the heck was I saying? Ah, uh, I forgot, but... Still talking about Toy Story, go see it! I'm not kidding. You'll love it. Oh! Good lord. That's another thing I don't like about this level. It's too topsy-turvy, like... It's got some great climbing stuff, but... It's just arranged in some random way that, like, you're gonna try and go somewhere, but you can't because there's no rope or because there's no... something? It's... It's just frustrating to traverse the level and not have a direction to go! Like, this level gets confusing. Alright, turn around, Mr. Unicorn. Give me your buns. Oh, health? Come here. Silly rabbit tricks for kids. You share. <laughs> hmm. What else did I want to talk about? Oh yeah, another question. How many of you guys still watch The Office? Like, the newer seasons, like, I'm gonna be honest, I love The Office to death, but I haven't, like, watched the newer season. I mean, after Steve Corral left, I just couldn't. I mean, I watched a few, but it's not the same, honestly. He, he in my opinion, was the heart and soul of the, the whole show. So yeah, I guess not, there was no bottle there. I just love Steve so much. Dwight, you ignorant slut!
And I was watching the one with the um the Dundee Awards, I'm guessing. Yeah, the Dundee Awards. And this award this award goes to Kevin for this this award goes to don't go in there after me. Because after he went to the bathroom, it it just stank. That's funny. It's staring at me in the face. Come on. Oh, for all right. This is the way to do it. Yeah, baby. Alrighty, I see a bottle in the Stick River. Alright, just run across these platforms here. And that's the next bottle. Now, if you slide across the rope leading to the safe house, there'll be a bottle on top of the tiger's head. It's tight! Tight like a tiger! Now, if you just climb down this rope here... You'll get another bottle. Now, if you head in this bottom section here, ooh... You get a bottle in a tunnel-like setting. Coming from the tunnel area, if you just hop on these points, you'll get the next bottle. Good lord, I can't believe I missed this one. If you jump down from the gear, if you jump down from the gear from this location, you can see the bottle. And that's all the bottles, so I'm going to end it off here, and I will see you guys in the next part of Slack 2 Bandit Beat.